The Hyundai Tucson comes with America's best warranty. It's like a mental vacation from worry that no other brand offers. Whether it's up into the mountains to hit the slopes on a ski trip, cruising down the coast to the beach, or hitting the trail. So take a mental vacation, or better yet, a vacation vacation, in the Hyundai Tucson and leave those worries behind. The Hyundai Tucson, with America's best warranty. It's your journey. Test drive the Tucson at your nearest Hyundai dealer or learn more at HyundaiUSA.com. Call 562-314-4603 for complete details. I was scared the night you overdosed, but I was prepared. I brought Naloxone with me, and I knew how to use it. I held your hand tight when you woke up because I wanted you to feel safe. Your life is worth saving, friend, and I would save it again if I had to. Naloxone can reverse an opioid or fentanyl overdose. Carry it with you. For more info, go to preventoverdosewa.org. A message from the Washington State Department of Health. I'm Israel Gutierrez. I'm hosting a new podcast called Four Years of Heat. It takes you to Miami from 2010 to 2014. When LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade set the NBA ablaze. You know, have an opportunity to team up with the best trio to ever play the game of basketball. We'll take you inside those four monumental years with behind-the-scenes access and insight about one of the greatest teams ever assembled. Four years of heat on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. You don't know me. A confession I can't take back. The Masked Speaker. We got a text to 78592 that says, Sometimes I find the floor much comfier than my bed. Oh, I'll just really? lay on the ground for no reason when my bed's right there. Oh, I feel that. I do that all the time. I mean, sometimes it when does feel drunk. good on your back. Mm-hmm. And Brooke, your <laughs> yeah, husband yeah. enjoys sleeping on the floor when you're mad at him, right? Well, yeah, yeah. With, the, with the dog bed. He likes that. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> curls up yeah. in a little... Wow. Luxury yeah. for him. <laughs> but sometimes we have the same weird stuff in common with total strangers, and you never would have known unless they'd confessed it first. Mm, that's yeah. true. And one of our listeners is ready to share a little of her inner weirdness with us. Maybe we'll have something in common with her. She wants to go by Nikki today. Nikki, welcome to the show. Hi, guys. Hi, hey. Nikki. How you doing? I am okay. Okay. Oh, well, you sound a little bit nervous. Yeah, for sure. But the voice changer is on. You're the mass speaker. Whenever you're ready, let's hear your confession. Okay. So, my day job is insurance, right? Oh. But You work in insurance? Yeah, but at night, you're secretly Superwoman. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So I'm actually an artist. Like, I love oh, cool. to paint. Yeah. I've been doing it for quite some time. What do you paint? You know, different things. I'm, what, I, what happens is I meditate, and then whatever comes up, I put it on canvas. Dude, that's oh. beautiful. I love that. Do you body paint at all? What? <laughs> that was a strange no. next question. Oh. Yeah. We're yeah. into different types of painting, yeah, but yeah, good right. for you. You like to paint things on canvases. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I have a few pieces that I was able to put inside of a cafe. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a good so deal. Exciting. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I was so excited. I'm going to put about eight pieces in there. Yeah. And what happens is if I'm able to sell any, they get a 10% commission off of it. Right. Yeah. Mm, that makes sense. Like Almost like a gallery fee or whatever, right? Oh, I never thought of that. Yes. That was perfect for me. I told them, perfect, no problem. So a couple of weeks pass by, nothing is selling. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Yeah. It's just still an honor to be featured, right? I always wonder, like, how you sell anything in a cafe. You know, because, like, nobody's going in there with the purpose of buying art. Yeah. That would be cool. A bunch of fancy people, though, like, walking in just to buy the art in there. Yeah. I'll take all the walls. (laughs) So nothing was selling, and uh, they were like, you know, hey, maybe something a little different. And I said, okay. Let me go home. I can do something different. So I have a beautiful four-year-old. Uh-huh. You're going to sell your four-year-old? Yeah. <laughs> Where is this going? That's where the body paint comes in. Okay. Take the kid and sell him. Finally. No. Sorry. Keep going. <laughs> so I'm sitting there one day, and she's just like, I'll paint you something. So I'm like, oh, I'll let her do something. So I'm sitting there, and I'm watching her, and I'm like, this doesn't look half bad. So I decided 
to take her painting and switched it for one of my paintings out of the cafe. Oh my gosh. Oh, now you and your kiddo get it. That's Aww. awesome. What was her painting? Was it just like colors and shapes or was it like a stick yes. figure standing next to a house? It was abstract, just a bunch of different colors and right. just different things. You're like, this is a study of lines and texture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I drew sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. She just put a heart into it, and I said, you know what, baby? I love that. Aww. Aww. This is so cute and wholesome. Did you take her and like show her the painting up in the cafe? Yes, I did. Aww. But I didn't tell anybody that it was her painting. <laughs> Oh. Oh. That, Wait, okay. you put your name on her painting? I mean, yeah. Oh. Uh. And the people just accepted it? They they honestly thought you did it? They honestly thought that I did the painting. That doesn't concern you at all? They're oh. like, this like, one is even more sophisticated yeah. than all the other ones. No, you hear about, like, those dogs that will, like, paint some, like, crazy gallery piece. They have yeah. dogs that can paint? Yes. I want, a, I want a painting dog. Wow. So they actually liked your daughter's painting. Not only did they actually like it, the cafe called me and told me that I had made $253 off of my daughter's what? painting. What? Oh, what? <laughs> oh my God. And this whole time, old? I've just been throwing my kids' work away. <laughs> no, you better keep it because it made me worth something. I could not believe that wow. $253. So guess what I did? So I said, okay. I kept letting her paint. And sooner, <laughs> I just switched out all of mine. And do you know that I made well over $1,000 off of my oh, daughter's God, painting? Oh, God, your daughter God. is a brilliant artiste. That's, That's amazing. amazing. The only thing is, is that nobody knows that this is my daughter's painting, not my friends, uh, not my family. Not the owners of the new paintings? Not the owners. Oh, I didn't think of that yeah. too, bro. So you're signing your name at the bottom of every single piece of art that your daughter makes? I mean, I am, and I don't feel bad about that because she is my daughter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. Event, she can't even write her own name. Yeah, yet, so. oh, that's yeah. true. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I have an opening gallery show coming up, and I'm really stuck on what to do. I want to let my daughter paint <laughs> everything to put it oh, in there. You should do oh half and gosh. half and just see what sells better. Why don't you tell everybody at this point that it's your four-year-old? It'd probably get people like even more invested in her future as an artist. I mean, yeah, but are people really going to say, oh, you're four? I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars then. Like, I think it may change the value, right? I don't know. It depends. Like, it depends it's on art. how you pitch it. Like, if she's like a genius, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah. then, so then, then people will be like, I want to get in on the ground level. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Why not tell everybody that your daughter's an art genius? I'm just in a dilemma. I want to do that because, you know, with kids, everybody are like, oh, we'll pay for it. We'll pay for yeah. it. But mine wasn't even selling. So I want to put her in the house. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Hopefully she doesn't sue you someday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. <laughs> I know I'd say tag us in a painting picture, but apparently that would out. It's going to be a secret. Yeah. 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 But well. text in to 78592 if you have a confession that you've been holding on to. Oh. We'll hide your identity, we'll mask your voice, and make you the next mass speaker. Phone tap's coming up next. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Insight School of Washington is open to all Washington State residents grades K-12. through We have a personalized approach to education. Whether it's college credits with dual enrollment, career readiness and certifications, credit recovery, or just the ease of flexibility, we will accommodate your family's needs. The 23-24 school year enrollment is open now. Go to k12.com slash iswa. That's k12.com slash iswa to find out more. Whatever support you and your student might need, our teachers are committed to helping your family succeed with flexible online learning. At Insight School of Washington, your child can learn in the ways that are right for them. At home, on the road, or wherever there's an internet connection. We've been around a long time, successfully schooling online for over 10 years. Tuition free. Enroll or get more information today at k12.com slash iswa. We'd love to welcome your family to the Insight School of Washington community. I'm Israel Gutierrez. I'm hosting a new podcast called Four Years of Heat. It takes you to Miami from 2010 to 2014, when LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade set the NBA ablaze. You know, have an opportunity to team up with the best trio to ever play the game of basketball. We'll take you inside those four monumental years with behind the scenes access and insight about one of the greatest teams ever assembled. Four years of heat on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. 
Hello, America. Danielle Moody here. I am an unapologetic Black queer woman who isn't afraid to use my voice loudly and proudly to stand up for what's right. For the last five years, it has been my mission to ring a daily alarm and make America woke. Now, Woke AF Daily is proud to be a part of the Outspoken Network from iHeart Podcasts. Listen to the new season of Woke AF Daily on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.